What's up everybody, it's your boy Moho, back with another video. It's currently 6.27 in the morning. Uh, just had a sudden urge, you know, to make videos. I was like, you know what, you know, I haven't uploaded in a while, I just hit 18k. Uh, you know, you guys deserve it, you guys deserve videos. Um, I know you've been seeing a lot of S&D footage. I haven't had any complaints, but I want to bring it up because I feel like S&D footage is a lot better to watch, especially from my point of view when I upload because... As you can see, I'm super fast paced. It, it looks as though I'm playing like CTF. Yeah, I just run around the map. And that's a tip for you guys. I know a lot of you guys aren't really safe. You're not safe, but uh, you guys aren't really um, comfortable playing Search and Destroy because you feel like if you die first, you're going to screw up. Uh, my tip to you guys is just be yourself and search. Don't listen to nobody else. Do what you got to do. Trust your instincts because that's what I do. And seriously, nine times out of ten, it works. I can't even imagine, I can't even tell you, not imagine, I can't even tell you how many like 1v4s I've, I've clutched so far in this game. Like I could seriously, in a week I could probably make a top 5 plays of, you know, every week by the way, of like a 1v4 clutch. Just because I'm playing myself, I'm not really listening to nobody, you know? Um, but another key thing in S&D for you guys is to, you know, stay communicating, don't always look at one spot. As you see, the smoke grenade was, you know, put up on the screen right there. I couldn't see anything, but I, you know, I made sure I checked my right. Because a lot of people are using smoke grenades now. Um, they're using it so they can, you know, blind your, your vision. And they can, you know, get around the map somewhere. Because, as you guys know, smoke grenades are just ash cheeks. Like, in, in, in Call of Duty. It's just awful. Even the smoke that comes from the stun grenades or a grenade after everything's exploded and stuff is just... It's just terrible. You can't see through it. Um, so smoke grenades are really good to use, especially for strategy, especially for this map when you want to stun uh, the back left where the staircase is, where everybody sits. It's really good. Not stun, but smoke it. If you want to smoke the back left and, tr and push out there, it's a really good tactic. Uh, I, I think I'm about to do it right now. I don't even. I don't even know. I think I have one. I think I'm about to smoke the staircase. You guys might see that. I really don't know. And yes, there it is. I don't know if it works in my favor or not, but I do know I get stunned and stuff, but we'll see. I don't really know. But this is they're really good strategies. You guys should try these out. Um, another thing is don't be too laid back because more than likely you're going to have teammates that are already laid back. And for you with an SMG, if you're already being laid back and your teammates are as well, it's just not going to work. You're going to get picked off. You're going to let them cover more of the map. It's just, you know what I mean? It's not really good. Um... So, those are my little S&D tips for you guys. Um, with that being said, I do want to know if you guys want me to keep uploading S&D only. Um, because CTF, in my opinion, is kind of boring. Um, it's like 10 minutes long. And, you know, like, not, most of the time, I don't even have 10 minutes of, you know, stuff to talk about with you guys. So, I'm usually just, you know, trying to bullshit throughout the whole entire thing. You know, 10 minutes is a lot. Um, not only that, but I, I find CTF extremely boring to watch. Um, I know I make things look interesting because of, you know, you guys say my movement and all that stuff, but um, I don't know. It kind of got played out, you know what I mean? I've been doing it since Modern Warfare 2. That's basically, I've, I basically never uploaded S&D footage in Modern Warfare 2. Everybody just likes S&D footage. Um, so you guys let me know. Like I said, I haven't had any complaints. I've been uploading, like, you know, small free-for-alls and stuff, um, and, and I've been uploading a lot of S&D lately. Um, and I feel like if you guys watch my gameplay, you can learn. Um, so, like I said, you know, put it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Um, if you guys have any... I need su suggestions as well for tip videos because I don't know what to make. Um, you know, if you guys asked for Moho Jump videos. I gave you that. You guys asked for, like, little, you know, um, you know, just rushing routes and stuff. I gave you that. Like, it's... You know what I mean? I just need I just need some more suggestions. I'm not really creative with, you know, telling you guys what uh, to do because I don't know what you want. So I do read them all. I do take everything into consideration. So just definitely leave a comment. Um, another big thing I want to talk to you guys about is our roster. I know a lot of you guys don't know what's been going on. I've been keeping it on the low mainly because I we it's been so hard lately to just find a fourth. You know, um, for those of you who know, we let go of John. Uh, for reasons we're not going to get into, but, you know, it's just we let him go. And the team has been better since, even though we're still looking for a fourth. Um, we also picked up Hysteria. I take full blame for that, for picking him up immediately. We should have waited. 
Um, I was just bit, getting impatient, you know what I mean? So I just picked him up. We needed somebody, and uh, it, that's basically what happened. Uh, we ended up picking him up a little bit too early. I, I really didn't get too much information out of him. We need players on fear that are willing to travel at the, you know, drop of a dime. Uh, you know, players that don't have to go through their parents. You know, basically just mature players, and I think that's one of the reasons why we got rid of him. It had nothing to do with his skill. Um, but... You know, like I said, he's a great player. There was just a lot of other stuff as well involved with him that really just kind of, you know, made us all make that decision. Um, he understands as well. We're still on great terms. You know, he's a cool kid. I like him a lot, and he likes us a lot as well, and he understands why we had to move on to the next player. Um, but with that, you know, with that in mind, we do have somebody in mind right now that we're working with. It's Killa. You guys might know him. You might not. He was on GZ. He's uh, one of the top slayers right now in the game, and uh, he also played in COD XP, and he, you know, did real, you know, he did a lot of work in COD XP. I think he took home, like, $30,000. Like, no joke. He's really good, and, you know, that's something that we need. We need a, a, you know, a slayer that's just knows what he's doing. He was good in Black Ops as well. He was with Icons, and he just, he just played amazing, you know? Um, he's just one of those players that you don't really hear about too often. Um, but that's what's going on with Fear. I hope you guys, uh... I hope that answers all of you guys' questions as well. And uh, please be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to the video. Or, to me. <laughs> and like the video. And also, follow me on Twitter. You guys are great. And please leave feedback on what you want. Because I'm clueless. Clueless, guys. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.